بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم و السلام علیکم ٹوڈے وی ول ٹرائی ٹو لرن آل امپورٹنٹ ڈیفینیشنس ریگارڈنگ نائنتھ گریڈ میتھمیٹکس سائنس گروپ اینڈ دیز ڈیفینیشن آر موسٹ موسٹ امپورٹنٹ اکارڈنگ ٹو بورڈ پوائنٹ آف ایگزامینیشن سو ہیئر وی اسٹارٹ ڈیفینیشن آف یو نمبر ففٹین وچ نیم از پیتھاگورس تھیورم سو فسٹ ڈیفینیشن از ایکیوٹ اینگل ایز یو نو دیٹ ایکیوٹ اینگل measure of an acute angle is always less than 90 and greater than 0 degree so what is an acute angle triangle a triangle in which all the three angles mean interior angles are less than 90 degree and greater than 0 degree such a triangle is known as acute angled triangle in which interior angle lies between 0 to 90 degree not greater than 90 degree next one is what is hypotenuse of a right triangle keep in mind that hypotenuse is associated with only right triangle a triangle having one angle of a 90 degree so hypotenuse of right triangle or what is hypotenuse the side opposite to the right angle is called hypotenuse of right angle so here is a right triangle in which one angle is a interior angle is of 90 degree and the side which is facing the right angle is known as hypotenuse or hypotenuse of a right triangle what is hypotenuse of a right triangle the side of a right triangle which is facing or which is opposite to right angle and angle of 90 degree this is called hypotenuse now next one is what is pythagoras theorem or state Pythagoras theorem in a right triangle the square of length of hypotenuse is equal to the sum of square of length of base and perpendicular or in a right triangle the sum of hypotenuse is always equal to square of sum of hypotenuse equal to sum of square of base and perpendicular so this is the mathematical form of Pythagoras theorem which states as hypotenuse square equals to base square plus perpendicular square. So next one is state the converse of Pythagoras theorem. Or what is the converse of Pythagoras theorem? If the square of one side of a triangle, keep in mind we are not talking about any right triangle. See? So if the square of one side of a triangle is equal to the sum of square of the other two sides, then that triangle is called a right triangle mean if in any triangle sum of one side square of one side equals to the sum of square of other two sides then that triangle is called right triangle so this statement is called converse of Pythagoras theorem next definition is obtuse angle triangle as you know that obtuse angle the measure of obtuse angle is always greater than 90 and less than 180 so a triangle whose one angle and one interior angle is greater than 90 and is less than 180 then that triangle is called as an obtuse angled triangle so we are having next unit number 16 theorems related with the areas what is area of a plan figure area of a plan figure is the amount of surface enclosed by its bonding line by joining a bonding lines the area which is occupied by these bonding lines is called the area of a plan figure interior of a triangle the set of all the points in a plan or in a triangle which lie inside a triangle this is called interior of a triangle next one is what is trapezium a trapezium is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of opposite sides which are parallel. So if in a quadrilateral one pair of a line is exactly parallel then that quadrilateral is termed as trapezium. And next one is perpendicular line. Two lines are said to be perpendicular if they intersect each other at right angle at a right angle now what is right angle the angle 
half 90 degree. Now definition of number 17, which is about practical geometry. Concurrent lines. Three or more than three lines are said to be concurrent if they all pass through a single point. Three or more than three lines which pass through a same single point. These lines are called concurrent lines. Next one is in center of a triangle. The internal bisector of the angle of a triangle. Okay, G. If the bisector of a triangle which meet at the same point and that point is called as a in center of a triangle. The internal bisectors of the angle of a triangle meet at a point which is called in center of a triangle or the point of concurrency of the internal angle bisector of a triangle is called in center of a triangle. Circumcenter of a triangle. Now the point where three perpendicular bisectors of the sides of a triangle meet. Perpendicular bisector of the sides of triangle. The point of concurrency of three perpendicular bisectors of the sides of a triangle is called circumcenter of the triangle. So circumcenter of triangle is a point where three perpendicular bisectors of the three sides of a triangle meet. So that single point is termed as circumcenter of the triangle. Now what is centroid of a triangle? The point where the three medians of a triangle meet is called centroid of a triangle. The point where three medians of a triangle meet. And that point is called as centroid of that triangle. Next one is orthocenter. The point of concurrency of three altitudes of triangle is called as orthocenter. Where three altitude of triangle meet, that point is called as orthocenter. So here is a trick given by Mr. Nadim. Concentrate on these pair of words MC. So MC, Alto and PCC. If you learn MC, M for medians. So where medians of triangle bisect, C for centroid. So where median of triangle meet at a single point, that point is called centroid of the triangle. MC, M for median, Alto, where altitude of triangle meet, O for orthocenter. So where three altitude of triangle meet, that point is called orthocenter. Similarly, PCC, where perpendicular bisector of triangle meet, that point is called C for centroid. So where perpendicular bisector meet, that point will be called as centroid. Here it becomes very easy to learn all these main definitions. MC, also and PCC. MC mean where medians of triangle bisect each other and meet as a single point. That point is called C for centroid and alto. Alto mean altitude of triangle meet. That is called O for orthocenter. And PCC where perpendicular bisector of triangle meet. That is called centroid of the triangle. So these are the main definition and very very important definitions of last three chapters of 9th grade mathematics science group. I hope you will learn and understand this definition. Take care and Allah Hafiz on Allah Hafiz.